From the patient files of Dr. Jeremiah Arkham, director of Arkham Asylum. Patient Jane Doe, real name unknown. The patient suffers from borderline personality disorder, major depressive disorder, and obsessive behavior. The patient lacks any real identity of her own, and assumes the identities of the people she kills, including their skin, literally. Session 2 So Jane, how are we doing today? <clears throat> no? Well, I see. It's going to be that way again. Luckily, I came prepared. Last session, I couldn't get a peep out of you either. So, I came upon a theory. Perhaps you refuse to respond when addressed as yourself. But, what if I addressed you as Rachel? Rachel Greenberg. Rachel Greenberg, the attorney. How are we doing today, Rachel? Oh, I'm doing fine, Doctor. Thank you for asking. Very interesting. Rachel, can you tell me about yourself? Well, uh, what would you like to know? Anything. Well, uh, my name is Rachel Greenberg. I work as an attorney at the Copper and Copper Law Firm. I'm 35 years old. Yes, go on. Um, I live in downtown Gotham. Uh, oh, I'm engaged to be married to a wonderful guy named Mark. We're very much in love. How nice. Should I continue? By all means. Uh, well, I, I have a hobby. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. No need to be embarrassed. Well... <laughs> I'm a big fan of Wonder Woman. <laughs> it's so silly. I, uh, I collect Wonder Woman merch. I've got an entire room dedicated to it in me and Mark's apartment. He always makes fun of my collection and says he's going to throw it out or sell it on eBay someday. But he's just joking. I know he is. Then I say I'm going to throw out his PS4. Now that always shuts him up. <laughs> mm -hmm. What kind of merch? Well, you know... Action figures, costumes, dolls, uh, plushies, pins, uh, trading cards, clothing. Uh, oh, I've even got a replica of her lasso. It doesn't make you tell the truth, unfortunately. <laughs> I would have loved to have used that in court otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Can you tell me something about Jane, Rachel? Jane? No, uh, no, I, I don't know any Jane. Really, now? Gina Florentino. How are we doing today, Gina? I'm doing okay, Doc. I gotta say, though, I ain't a fan of this joint. Gives me the creeps, you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you'll grow to like it, though. Uh, yeah, not likely, Doc. Uh, so, Gina, care to tell me about yourself? Tell you what? What do you want to know? Anything. Your age, occupation, interests. Uh, Alright, Doc, sure, I can do that. I'm uh, 28, I work in a beauty salon, and I, uh, I like makeup, you know? Yes? Yeah, I got a YouTube channel, too. Uh, about makeup. I do, like, uh, makeup tutorials and that kind of stuff, you know? Is that so? Yeah. I got over a thousand subs. Well, that's, uh, impressive. Yeah. I hope to make a living off it someday. Become a big star, you know? One can always hope. Yeah. Anything else you want to know, Doc? You want to know my bra size or something? Um, no, thank you. That's quite all right. I do want to know about Jane, though. Can you tell me about Jane, Gina? Jane? Nah. Nah, I don't want to talk about her. I see. Maud Jurgensen. How are we doing today, Maud? Oh, I'm doing dandy, Doctor. 
Uh, care to tell me about yourself? Why, I'd be delighted to, sweetheart. Um, my name is Maud. I'm uh, 46. Oh, don't tell that to nobody, okay? <laughs> Let's see now. Um, well, uh, I don't know what exactly you want to know about, Doctor. Anything. Hobbies, occupation. Oh, all right. Well, as for my hobbies, uh, I guess my main hobby would be taxidermy. Really? Yeah. You know, there's a lot of misconceptions about taxidermy. Uh, people seem to think you're like a, a cook or a serial killer or something for stuffing animals. I mean, it's not like I kill the animals and stuff them. That's what a serial killer would do. The animals are already dead. Usually pets who passed away. I stuff them to keep them around, even though they're gone. So it's like they're not gone, you know? I suppose. And people pay me to do it for them. With their deceased pets, you know? Uh, so I make some money off it too. Uh, it's not my main job though, just a side gig. I work at a diner down in Tricorner. Uh, most of my customers are cops. <laughs> They're all such darlings. Is that so? Yeah. Oh, and you get to hear a lot of gossip. Like crime gossip. Really? Yeah. I've heard all kinds of crazy stories. Stories about uh, the Joker, the Penguin, or that plant lady, uh, what's her name, uh, Poison Oaky? Ivy. Yeah, that's it. Huh. And to think, I'm now here with them, in Arkham Asylum. Oh, it's crazy. Well, why are you here, Maud? Do you know? What? Uh, I... I don't... I don't really. No, I, I'm not sure. It's because of what Jane did. Jane? Yes. Jane. You. What, what, what are you talking about, Doctor? I'm Maud. Who is this Jane? You know who she is. Tell me about her. Tell me about Jane. You just don't get it, do you, Doctor? There is no Jane. There never has been. Jane is a blank, a faceless nobody. She might as well have never existed. So stop asking about her. She will never answer you, and no one will ever tell you anything about her, because there is nothing to tell. I see. So, um, Doctor, pardon me for asking, but, um, are you seeing anyone? You're kind of cute. <laughs> I'm married to the job. 